If our blood didn't clot, every time we cut ourselves, we would keep bleeding forever. But clots can also cause harm, such as when there's an internal bleed and blood vessels become blocked, preventing blood flowing to vital organs. Heart attacks and stroke can happen because of blood clots too. This activity shows the different consistencies of fake blood, fresh and clotted. And for this we will need water, some water soluble red food colouring and some optional black food colouring, sodium alginate, two large clear containers, one labelled clotted blood and the other labelled fresh blood, pipettes, syringes without needles, hand towels as this activity can be quite messy and if you have access to a blood bag you can show this too. First we'll make the fresh blood by mixing some water and red food colouring in one container. This is what blood looks like running through our circulatory system. Into the second container we can make the clotted blood. In the same way as before we need to mix water and red food colouring. As clotted blood looks darker, we may need to add the smallest amount of black food colouring. Then to make the blood thicken and simulate clots, we add some sodium alginate. This needs quite a bit of stirring to get the alginate fully mixed in. If you can't get hold of sodium alginate, you could use blackcurrant jam that has been diluted down and mixed with water. This is an activity where participants can have a play with both samples of blood, using pipettes and syringes to investigate the consistencies and ease of handling the bloods. In order to carry out a blood transfusion, we don't want blood to clot once it's outside of the donor's body. For this reason, we have blood bags containing sodium citrate, an anticoagulant. You can discuss the importance of blood clotting in more detail with participants after the activity. The written resource pack contains some narrative about the clotting cascade, which you can refer to.